don't let nobody tell you you can't do it or you shouldn't do it. That's the one thing. If you let that get to you, then you've already lost. And you might as well, if that gets to your head, if you let that get to your head, then you might as well stay where you at True. and there do you what go. you're doing. Right. Because there's always going to be doubters and haters and yeah. stuff like that. So I just say keep, just keep doing what you want. Keep My name is Maurice Williams. And where are you from, Maurice? I am from Washington, D.C. Okay, how long have you been in Los Angeles? I've been in Los Angeles for about a year and two months now. Okay, so what made you move to Los Angeles? Well, I have a couple of reasons. Like, I'm doing stand-up comedy out here now, a model, acting. Okay. Uh, I also have family out here as nice. well, my mother and my little sister lives out here. Nice. Okay, so do you see yourself staying in LA permanently or what it what is this this move for you is it permanent or just for a little bit I would say I wouldn't say permanent but it is it's going to be a long you know, I'm not I'm not in a rush to just stick get in here and get out you know? right I will be here for some time cool so what are some of your likes and dislikes about LA uh well number one is the traffic I have to go with the traffic right um uh the cost it's every, the expense is very expensive very. at times, it, but I look at it. It depends on your lifestyle. Right. It doesn't have to be as expensive as everyone makes it out. To exactly. Be. But as far as gas prices and traffic, that's crazy. Yeah, crazy high. <laughs> uh, the weather is top tier. Right. I love that it about it. Um, I've only been through. You know, people people are scared of earthquakes. I've been through two of them, so, okay, so I got, that, I got that out the way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got the jitters out <laughs> the way because I never experienced one before. Same. So, yeah. Other than that, yeah, I love yeah. it. Out here. No, people I know, the people I know and met out here are real cool. Yeah. Friendly, especially yeah, and everyone's just up, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, do you see any pros and cons to being here? Pros and cons, I definitely do see. I see, I see both, mm -hmm. um, and like I think that goes towards uh, the person, the type of person you are. Right. Especially in the entertainment industry, there's yeah. you can only go so far if your attitude or like your um, characteristics exactly. don't line up with you know how the entertainment industry. Exactly. Is. Because people are not gonna like gravitate to you right. if you don't have that, right. that mindset, yep. that 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 social, you know, wanting to be. What you what you love to do, whether it's yeah. acting, modeling, if you don't have that drive, then that could turn, you know, like a move like me, this move situation, uh -huh. into like something bad, you know? Right, like it's very not true. Work out. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So you said you're from Washington D.C. Yes. So what makes Washington D.C. different from Los Angeles in your uh, opinion? Mm, that's a good one. I might have to go with the culture is different. For sure. The culture is different um, yeah. in D.C. We have, I would say this, we have the best uh, uh, brunches. Okay. That is like, yeah, that is like what, that's what I recommend for people uh -huh. to, when, like, if you like brunch, we have the best brunches. It's like all day brunches. Okay. And it's, 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 it's very fun. Um, but as far as like uh, the different, I would say the people, people are very different. Yes, like, People here true. in L.A. are very I would say unique. Okay. Like they're very, they're very, they're in, they're in, in like. In their own world, maybe. Not in, I wouldn't <laughs> say in their own world, but it's like there's a. Uh, they are very personable with themselves. You know, yes. everyone is themselves here. Like they, right. they don't want to be like very anyone true. else. And right. like back home, that could be a thing. Like, I think there's a lot of followers. Okay. Yes. And then here, like people are making their own path. Right. You, That's true. You come out here, you want to do what you want to do and you're not gonna let nobody else tell you because I've had people tell me I shouldn't even be here you know I shouldn't have made the move because I work for the government wow. and you know leaving this could have been leaving the government job to you know pursue what I wanted to do my okay. dreams could you know could be bad which it could that's the risk you take right you wanna, of course yeah, make, yeah so so yeah. how was that for you when you know people tried to tell you you shouldn't like what it what did that make you feel like I know sometimes people get discouraged yeah. hearing that and then sometimes it makes you go harder yeah you know what yeah, I mean so yeah. for you what was that experience like uh well like before like I I had my mindset on mm -hmm. moving like I had the date set and like after I was telling everybody like uh -huh. I got the, the go ahead go for it the no right. this is bad but it's just like I knew what I wanted to do I wasn't going to switch right and and I just I stuck with it I wasn't going to because then if I just started you know doubting myself right and like if I even if I would have waited 
because I moved here, I got here in January, February. Uh, next month, COVID oh. hit. So if I'd have waited right. a couple of months, well, right. let me just save some more. Let me wait. Yeah. I probably would never be in LA right now. And that's true. So. Um, so amongst the people that told you this, was it friends, family, or a combination of Combination of both. both. Like both. Combination yeah. both. And I, I know I get it. They, you know, some, they care about me. And of just course. Worried, but it's just like, it was just constantly like hearing about it. And then of course they accepted it. it right, crazy. eventually. Every, everyone's rooting for me now, you know? That's so. good. So you said your mom and your sister are here. Yes. Have well, they always been here or did they come with you? They came six years ago. Oh. And my mom wanted me to come, but I was like, no, I want to finish school because I was still in college. Wow. Uh, so I was just like, I'm mean, gonna let me let me finish college, let me work some more. Like I said, mm -hmm, I was with the same. government. Yeah. And I was like, now I'm I'm getting my master's, but I'm online. So I was like, let me just let me get out here. Right. I can right. just finish while I'm out here. While you can. Graduate. I graduated in May. So oh, good. I'll have that done, and then yeah. So, but they've they've met. You know, they've been connected with a lot of people. That helps me. Yep. My mom and my sister's actually in Atlanta now. But she she does music, so she feels yes. like Atlanta is like more. That for that, of, yeah, that's for people, sure. You know. Okay, so since you've been in LA, even though it's only been a year, tell us a crazy story or something crazy that you've experienced or that has happened to you since you've been here. Uh, crazy, crazy. I mean, it is LA, so you know we all got those crazy stories. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen, I've seen some crazy things. I've seen um, one day I was. This was like a month when I got here. I got here, I was because I drove here. Okay. So I got my car. I had to get my battery changed. Something happened to my battery, and I was in Van Nuys, I believe. And there was like two old. They was I don't know what they were, but it was like a dude with a shirt off, like he was in a game. Right. And he had tattoos. He had like a big knife. This was broad daylight. Right. He had like a machete. What? Yes. Oh and my god. He was gosh. swinging at I guess it's a uh, homeless man or a okay. crackhead or something. And it was like it was a big confrontation just between those two and i was like i said that was just the second month i was here oh man and i also had i know one there's one night i would never forget um so my my mother is connected with um megan megan good mother so okay. we're like a like a family nice. with kids. so yeah uh one night we were out uh this was after my i had a modeling show mm -hmm. with the model experience and it's after that okay. um and that's run by like megan good sister so we had all went out she invited my sister out and like right. we were all out at this uh this was during COVID when COVID was actually started mm. and we couldn't really go anywhere right um so we went to this bar they had outside seating mm -hmm. and yeah megan and her friends were there i was there. this is like my first time like hanging like with you know megan and then right. like, she had um invited uh trey songs so it was somebody's birthday uh -huh. so we started singing like happy birthday I and mean, I think it was a weekend of the curfew starting. So we were just in the street singing, singing gospel <laughs> songs. It was amazing. Like, we were all, because we were all drinking. So yeah. it, was just, like, it was a fun moment. So, Maurice, tell us a success story that you've had since you've been here. Success story. Or something that, you know, made you feel, you know, like you've accomplished something since you've been here. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, so I attended this uh stand-up class mm -hmm. online and we i had like that it was my first it was my first show since mm -hmm. i, moved, since I mm -hmm. moved here so i went through the whole six, it was a six week class and i put my whole uh 10 minute set together so that was like my first time really being like coached and, right um just on how to you know write how to like all the little things that can go in the stand-up mm -hmm. my first time learning it and like performing it mm -hmm. and it was different because you know it was COVID, so it was online right. my first time doing stand-up online and that was like different for me that was difficult because I, i'm the type of person that i need the audience in person I thrive off yeah the audience. so exactly for me to have that and accomplish that and let, let me know like if i can do it like i'm doing this now mm -hmm. like when stuff get back i know i'm still i still yeah. have to drive to continue right to do it, which is why i'm doing i had my first one uh last monday oh congratulations back, yeah back on stage so any closing remarks that you would leave for anyone who is coming to LA to fight for their dreams, pursue dreams or whatever it is that they're passionate about, anything that you want to leave them with? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it or you shouldn't do it. That's the one thing. If you let that get to you, then you've already lost. All right. And last, uh, Instagram. Could you share with us your Instagram so that we can 
let everyone know where to follow you at yes. on your journey and everything. Okay. So, yes, you can uh, follow me, uh, A-Y-Y-E underscore M-O-E, A-M-O. And you can also follow my stand-up page where I post all things funny at M-O-E, no, underscore M-O-E-W-I-L-L, mo -E Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Maurice, for allowing us to do this interview, and we wish you much success on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, family. Absolutely. Always like, subscribe, comment, share, man. We appreciate y'all always, man. Until next time, we'll get with y'all.